The Attleboro Public Library is continuing its effort to reach all segments of the Attleboro community. The library was recently awarded with a $10,000 grant from the Federal Institute of Museums and Library Services. The grant money will be used to support the library's outreach efforts towards non-English speaking residents. To find out more about the grant, we spoke with Attleboro Public Library Assistant Director Amy Rellinger. My name is Amy Rillinger. I'm the Assistant Director at the Attleboro Library. Uh, when I took this job in September, I took over as the project manager for the LSTA grant, which is the Library Services and Technology Act. Um, it's federal money given to libraries across the United States to reach out to underserved populations, meaning uh, folks who don't normally come into libraries and museums. It has been so exciting. Most of my work here at the library has been with um, children and teens. So working with the partners for this grant, um, with the Literacy Center, with uh, Jeremy Denley, who's the Ward 5 City Councilor, working with um, the Council of Churches, working with the Cambodian community, Portuguese community. It's really um, opened up more parts of Attleboro to me, which is really exciting. And then to be able to bring them back into our library and kind of show off what we have is a great opportunity. The grant is for $10,000. We've never received a grant for um, community outreach like this before. Um, it is specifically for people who are not native English speakers. And that's something that we struggle with here in the building because most of our staff speaks English only. And so it is, it's a hard audience to reach. Um, so this really, um, it's giving us a lot of money for technology to help with translation. We'll be getting some tablet computers. Um, it is very difficult for us to go out into the community um, working with people not speaking English because of the communication issue, but having the tablet and having translating capabilities like that um, that are portable is a huge help. And the first thing that we're going to do is leave our building and go to the organizations, go to whatever programs that they offer, whether it's classes, whether it's cultural, you know, sort of fun things, and just meet people and ask and tell them that, you know, are you aware of the library? Do you know what we have to offer? Can we answer any questions sort of one-on-one -on -one in that way? Because what we need to do is to meet people and ask them what they want from their library. A big chunk of the funding is going towards materials that people can borrow. So we don't know do, if you're not if people are not coming in here and asking for things like, do you want magazines in different languages? Do you want newspapers in different languages? Videos? We're not sure. So we just need to get out of the building and find out what people like. The bilingual story time is a, um, one of the first steps that we've taken. Last year we started it. It's two women in the community who have volunteered their time. They bring in stories that are both in Spanish and English and create um, crafts and games around both the vocabulary and the um, customs of the cultures. It has been so popular and it is so fun and it's kids of all ages. They do a remarkable job of showing, you know, three-year-olds to fifth graders having fun and learning new words and learning new cultures. We also have in April the Cambodian New Year um, celebration. We've got a band coming in and um, some monks will be doing a ceremony here in the building. Uh, September 15th to October 15th is known as um, Hispanic Heritage Month and we've got a band coming um, for a performance in the library then. Right now a lot of things are still in the works as well so we're hoping to get new ideas as we meet new people. I just want to make sure that um, people in our community know that we are so open to suggestions and um, open to new ideas. I want people to be able to come in and let any one of us know like what do you want at the library and what um, helps you best at the library and it's really important for us to get an outsider's perspective um, and we want to make sure people know that they're welcome 